back to the engineering crucible. Uh, we're doing problem 1315 from the fundamentals of chapter 13. And we're on, we're on to the, you know, uh, you know, equations of motion in uh, angular, um, in the rectangular, or, or the radial and rectangular uh, coordinate system. Oh man, it's so hot right now in, uh, in LA. Um, all right, so let's just read the problem statement and extract all the information that we need. Okay, so we have a two milligram, two megagram car, <laughs> milligram. So we know the mass of this object is two thousand kilograms. Just convert it right away. Don't don't use those, you know, just kilograms, seconds. Uh, what else do we have? Meters. Just convert everything to those um, SI units along the curved path described by R. Okay, perfect. They give us the equation of R. Right, and it rotates with an angular velocity of theta dot. Okay, so theta dot, if you're, f if you're doing physics, you might see theta dot as omega. Okay, so I'm just going to throw that out there so you guys, you know, engineers, just stick with the theta dot. Physicists, Actually, physicists just get used to both of them. Because as you do undergrad classes, you're going to use omega, and then you get to like your classical mechanics classes, and then you're going to be doing theta dot. 0 0.05 radians per second. And then what else do we have? Angular acceleration, which is alpha or theta double dot. Point 0 0.05, hold on, sorry, this is point, point 0.1 radians per second squared. At the instant, uh, theta equals pi over 6. So when theta equals pi over 6, look how everything, they gave us all the angular terms, and the, the position, the angular uh, position, I guess. Um, the angular uh, velocity, angular acceleration, and they gave us a position um, of that particle. Determine the results in friction force that developed between the tires and the road at this instant. So now, let's draw this out here. So let's draw a tangent line. Let's draw a tangent line that just barely kisses this, uh, this curvature over here. So remember, the tangent has to hit it at one point. Let's say it hits it there and it keeps going. Hit and run. Okay, so that's our tangent line. Right? And then our, our radial coordinate system or, or axis, radial axis, just keep extending the R. Right? So just extend it out. That's R. And then we know that our angular, our theta axis, has to be perpendicular to R because we are working with perpendicular coordinate systems. Okay, so right, this has to be 90 degrees. And then they're asking us to uh, determine the resultant friction force developed between the tires and the road at this instant. So we're ultimately just trying to get the, you know, what is trying to get the resultant force that's along the radial axis okay and the resultant force that is in our angular axis right and think about it if it was like f of x f of y like we're in the x y system how do we get a resultant well it's very easy we just that's a terrible brown sorry guys um, we just do oops, all we do is um, you know in a f of x f of y system all we do is this right and that gives us our resultant okay so same thing applies for this we're gonna do f of theta squared plus f of r squared and that oops and that'll give us the resultant force that we're looking for the the resultant friction force developed between the tires and the road at this instant 
So that's what we need to find. And we will get that by solving um, the equations of motion, you know, Newton's second law. So let's start out with getting more information from R. Also, guys, remember, theta in, in, all, in most of these problems, make sure you switch your calculator to radians. Okay, don't leave it on the green mode because you're going to get your answers all messed up. Okay, so let's do that. Let's take the derivative. Don't forget to apply the chain rule. So r, th r dot, let's move the 50 outside, and let's just take the derivative of e to the 2 theta. Okay, so when we do that, we should get e to the 2 theta. Okay, derivative of what's inside in terms of um, in respect to theta, and then applying the chain rule, we get a, two, uh, a theta dot. Okay, so here we have 100 e to the 2 theta theta dot. Okay, so that is our um, tangential velocity. Okay. Now let's do the same thing with our double dot. All right, our double dot is a bit tricky, but again, remember, I urge you guys don't carry the hundred. Just take it outside and then just worry about what's inside this equation. Distribute that one hundred at the end. Okay. Um, so it's a bit, a bit more complicated. Ultimately, we're going to have uh, so two theta. dot e to the 2 theta, so similar to what we did initially, e to the 2 theta times 2 theta dot, okay, and now times theta dot, so remember when we do um, a derivative of, let's say something like this, we're going to do dx dt times y plus dy dt times x. So it's similar to what we're doing here. We're doing what's the derivative of e to the 2 theta, right, which is this, right, times theta dot. And I'm sorry if you, you know, if, if you already understand this, just move on, but there's, there's you know, we, we, there's people that have to kind of follow it um, a little more slowly. Okay, and then plus um, e to the 2 theta, so we leave this term alone and we take the derivative of the second term, theta dot, not the derivative of theta dot, which is going to be theta double dot. Okay, and that's it. So that's our second time derivative of r. Okay, when we clean it up a bit, you know, if I was turning my homework, I would definitely clean it up because I kind of make it, I always try to make it look very nice and neat. And then theta double dot. Okay. So what I did, because I hate seeing all the double dots, the one dot, all, all this. Okay. So I hate seeing that. So what I did was I just evaluated these two equations, r dot, r theta r double dot at pi over 6. So I converted my thing to radians, punched in all the numbers, and I got 14.25 meters per second, and I got 4.27 meters per second squared. And then for r, remember, keep, keep it, um, I'm doing it up here. So R, I ended up getting, what was it, 142.48 meters, okay. So the reason I'm doing this is because we know we're going to have to use those, um, the angular equation terms, and the, you know, the radial acceleration, the angular acceleration terms. 
So what we want to do is just instead of substituting a whole equation into each one of those, we're just going to plug in the numbers. So AR is R double dot minus R theta dot squared. Okay, and then A theta plus 2R dot theta dot. So that's what I'm saying. Just evaluate them first and then plug them in. Because, you know, theta dot, theta double dot, and theta are kind of already just constants. And then now R, R theta, sorry, R, R dot, R double dot are all just values now. Scalar values. Alright, so now plugging everything in, um, let's see, did I I did not calculate those, unfortunately. But um, what you can do is, you know, the sum of the forces in the what's it called? The sum of the forces in the radial direction is what we're trying to get. It's just F R. That's the resultant force in the radial direction is equal to mass times acceleration in, this, in the AR direction. And the same thing applies here. In the theta direction is equal to F theta equals M A theta. Okay. So this is, this should be 3.9138. Let's see if I calculated the other one out. It should be around 2.8498. Okay. So when we plug these in here, bear with me. 498. Alright, so we're multiplying these values times 2000. Okay. So when we do that, we're going to get 7827.6 newtons and then on the theta side we're going to get 5699.6 newtons okay and like I said in the beginning we're taking the the magnitude of that so we're just going to do f let's call it f sub little f for friction force resultant friction force it's going to be 7827.6 squared plus 5699.6 squared. And when we do this, we should get 9682.8. So 9682 newtons or 9.6 or 9.7 kilonewtons. Okay? And then you're free. And if you if you got this down, really good for you. Um, you should, you know, now you can tackle the the later problems in the actual chapter. Um, but yeah, um, good job, guys. Thanks for keeping keeping up with me. Thanks for giving me attention. I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to um, you know leave a question down below if you have one. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Thanks so much, guys. Appreciate it.